Hi everyone, welcome back to Cricket Bat Info. Today we are doing a bat I haven't seen for a while. The Focus Players Edition. Top of the line professional English Willow from Focus. An Australian brand. Straight after this. So firstly, I'd like to thank uh, Christy who's actually sent in three bats to uh, review and this will be the first of them. This is the Focus Players Edition and you can see there Five Star Professional English Willow. Uh, I've been actually asking the owners to actually fill in a bit of information. So Christy is from Perth, Australia. He purchased it directly from Focus and uh, he was referred to them through a friend. Uh, feedback about the seller is that he's a very good bloke, meticulous with his products and standards and very customer friendly. Uh, there's a couple of dings in it because his three-year-old son made a couple of dents playing. Generally Christy used to use a 211 bat but he's coming down in weight because he's hurt his shoulder. So he's actually sold off all his old bats and purchased three bats which I'll be showing you in different ways. There's two reviews and there's something else that I'm doing with a third. He's not intending to sell this bat so you won't be seeing it. It's for his personal shape and the bat is an interpretation of a Coley shape. So there you go, that's the shape. It's a little bit higher for Australian conditions, I would say, in a real true mid position, uh, extending probably around to here. Maybe you'll get a little bit of action there, but there'd be a lot more wood up here. This actually has quite a thick toe and thick shoulders. I'll quickly show you the covers that they do. They are awesome. Have a look at that. It's beautifully padded, uh, really good quality. And, um, yeah, that's going to look after the bat. Big cases like that don't tend to fit in the coffin cases, so you'd have to carry them separately, which it's okay. Let's have a, another look at the bat this way. So you can see just how nice those grains are. They're almost perfectly straight going through. Nice. There's a bit of bow there. You can see that. It's not prodigious, just a little bit of bow. And the face is pretty much on that flat side. We'll chuck the gauge on it straight away just to have a look at the camber. And you can see there, there's a pretty big gap between the gauge and the willow. And on this side, you can see that we've got some room there with the concaving. You know, if I push that down, you can see you're looking at about three millimeters of concaving. And we're probably sacrificing about four millimeters in total from the tip of the spine to the absolute extreme of the gauge. You can see there 14.6 up here to the center of the edge and you can see there it's going towards that 39 millimeters and here at the toe it's quite thick looking at about 24 at the center of the, at the edge of the toe and down here we're looking at about 29 in the center. The spine itself I will measure in a second. We'll just get a measurement of the width of the bat. And you can see there, a little bit narrow, about a millimeter or a millimeter and a half. And we'll measure the spine straight away. So we've got 64, 63.8. Let's look at that willow. It's very nice, isn't it? There's a little bit of a spot down here and a pin knot there. Um, but other than that, you've got plenty of grains there. Nice color in those grains as well. Uh, and the finish on the bat is really nice too. You can see that. No real stains on the back. Really nice piece of willow. There's the edge of one of those pin knots. And we'll count the grains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 grains. A little bit of a 13th. Now this has a fairly flat toe, uh, as you can see there. So, uh, I guess that's consistent. Um, I thought Coley moved to a round toe more recently, I'm not sure. Maybe you can comment. I don't really follow what the players are doing to that level of detail. Um, let's do a measurement of that blade. See if it's a standard short handle blade. And, yep, 550 mil is what I'm getting there. Yeah, that's 55 centimeters on the face, which is good. A little bit longer on the back because it's got a cambered toe. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, handle next. So the handle is actually, it's 
got an extra grip on it, so I'll just feel that. That grip's a bit dirty. But I'll just feel what it's like without that grip. And I would say we're looking at a bit of a semi-oval. Um, so you've got 30, oh, 35 that way and 37. So it's a little bit, it's more towards round, you've got to say. Uh, I'll actually take that off. It's going to look unsightly for the, the actual um, rest of the review, but I actually want to weigh it without that extra grip on it. So yeah, unfortunately that's what happens uh, when you take grips off. Uh, it looks to me like it's had a focus black grip on originally and that's left a horrible stain on it. So Christie's actually changed that grip. Um, <clears throat> yeah, round at the top and under here got a nice handle. Reminds me of a grey nickels handle to be honest with you. Um, Really nice quality binding that's been glued down. None of this uh, shortcuts where they don't glue it and it's actually, yeah, it's nice. There's no distinction. There's no way of distinguishing here uh, where it's actually been made. Uh, it says designed in Australia. It doesn't say where it's actually made. I think that uh, there are some very, very good bat makers uh, all around the world. So it doesn't really matter where you're getting them made. I don't fall for this thing about where it's made determines how good it is. See what it feels like without that extra grip on. And I would say the bat feels like 2.9.5 towards 2.10 without that extra grip. So he's tried to uh, balance that with an extra grip and he probably likes a thicker handle. And we'll see what it actually weighs. It's 2.9.2. Okay, so it actually probably picks up a little bit heavier uh, with that smaller grip on it and you can see here with that extra grip on we go back to about a 211 bat um, but I mean it obviously improves the feel and I'll just you know pick that up with the, the grip in my hands to simulate that extra weight and yeah that definitely does make it feel much much lighter and, and more true to its actual uh, scale weight. We will now do the tap up Let's see what it actually sounds like. So it's definitely on the firmer side. Yeah, that definitely reminds me of Grey Nickels. And there you have it. I actually like that. I think that's a really nice bat for $800. Uh, it's competing easily uh, with anything that you can buy off the shelves locally and uh, it's probably exceeding it when you can take into account the quality of the case um, and those stickers. I haven't even talked about them. They're beautifully uh, embossed and textured. Yeah, they're real quality. Let's have a look at those under the lights. So there you go, well done to Mark from Focus Cricket and uh, thank you very much to Christy for sending that bat in. And if you like what I do and uh, want to see more of this then please subscribe and check out the playlists on the channel uh, and hit like if you really liked the bat or you liked the video, um, it helps these videos to trend. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video.